guys, what's going on? It is me, KLV, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing this really good Serum build. Now, if you saw by the start, we was getting about to 8k stacks on our spores. So, this is just a really good build. It is mainly just range, damage, and it's got a bit of duration on there. Now, you've probably seen the 90% efficiency, and to be honest, it's not that too bad. Like, if you're running generic, you're going to be getting your energy back really quick anyway, so don't have to worry about that 90% efficiency. So, let's just get straight to the build. So now we have enemy radar on here because I personally like having enemy radar. Now you could have corrosive projection on here if you want to, but the cor the corrosive already from our spores is going to be doing a lot anyway. We've got power drift on here just for the extra ability strength. We've got prime flow, prime continuity, vitality, streamline, regenerative mold. Now the reason why we have this is because having health is just really good as well as because we've got all the reach on here this is going to be giving us shield as well so we could keep using basically keep having a shield and not really die so that's mainly why we have it on, on here because as well if we do lose health a regenerative mode basically like you cast it more or less instantly and you can get health like really quick because you get like 50 health a second so we also have stretch or good reach like i said and blind rage now the reason why i have this blind rage instead of a max one is because with this one we have 90 percent efficiency with 72 percent ability strength if we use a maxed one then we'll go down efficiency is to 75 percent and i don't want to lose duration i don't want to lose uh, more efficiency now that is, that's why we do have this one we do lose a bit of strength but it is fine if you because it is literally mainly we're trying to get range we're trying to get a duration on there it is fine with this level right here so you can use a max one if you want to if you want to put like fleet and expertise and all that on but personally i like to have this level one just because then i get i have 90 percent efficiency with just streamlined so that is just fine by me 90 percent efficiency is fine for the arcanes we have arcane energize and arcane fury the reason why we have arcane fury is because i mainly use melee weapons melee weapons are like the best weapons in the game to use especially the chronon prime so this on rank three we get on critical hit we have a 40 percent chance for 120 percent melee damage so basically we're always going to be critting all the time because we've got blood rush on our melee weapon i'll show my melee weapon in a minute so we're going to be always critting so we're going to always have that 120 percent melee damage to our melee weapons so that is just a bonus right there the melee weapon that I use is the Cronin Prime because it's literally just OP in my opinion. So here we got the Gemini Cross for our stance. We got Condition Overload, we got Blood Rush, Berserker, Healing Return. Doesn't matter if you haven't got a max healing return, does any healing return do, will do. Prime Reach, Vicious Frost, Weeping Wounds, and Virulent Scourge so we can get viral. So, because obviously viral in general just shreds, even if you don't have it. Even if you don't have uh, corrosive or something, just viral in general just shreds. If you see all my other builds, I've been using this exact same build for everything, and it just absolutely destroys them. And obviously, because you're going to be obviously because you're going to be keep doing corrosive damage, viral then is going to help out because obviously corrosive is going to strip the armor. So then you got viral to just basically more or less kill them them really quick. Kuva new core build. This is what I use again. I use a viral build because we've already got corrosive from the from seven so we've already got corrosive from seven so this is the new core build that i use so we've got hornet strike on here we've got pathogen rounds deep deep freeze auger packs for the extra damage barrel diffusion lethal torrent stunning speed and toxin and that piston and peasant for that toxin damage so we can get viral and uh, this is a radiation one as well so we're doing radiation and viral if you do have a different new core then you could like if you had toxin one for example you probably wouldn't need to have uh pistol peasants you have to get you just probably put on um some electric one and yeah, that's basically it guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video make sure you drop a like and subscribe if this did help you out and uh, yeah have fun with this build peace out